Shayla from Shayla Equestrian on YouTube. You're watching Day by Day Vlogs. Come check out my channel and I hope you guys all have a Merry Christmas. Good morning guys. Welcome to today's video. Today is, what day is it? Today is Monday. Today is four days without Stella. Four days without Stella. Every day gets a little easier. Still getting a lot of messages from you guys. Today I watched a video that a beautiful girl made for us. And I cried and cried and cried. And some of you guys think that hearing about Stella and seeing pictures and videos and um, it will make us more and more, but it's not true. Every time I turn on the camera, she's like, don't cry, don't cry. Um, the dog never comes to me, except for when I turn on the video. So anyway, that's not true. I want to live, relive Stella every single day for the rest of my life. If that happens, I and I cry and cry every single day, I'm okay with that. I just want to always remember her and I want to never make it feel like it never happened. But let me tell you, Stella is going to be a legacy. There are things that are about to happen, you guys. Like, I think you all are going to be shocked. And I think some of you guys are not going to be happy with things that are, how our channel is going to progress. But I think more of you will be happy. And I think the people that wouldn't have been happy before might be happier now. I have to tell you something really quick. For years and years, about three years, I've dreamed this, this thing. Where it was the girls and I've dreamed the girls and I standing in a field with trees behind us and just standing there and I have my hand on both of their shoulders and we're devastated. It's, it's so dark in my dream and we're just standing there in the grass and we are so sad and I dream it like at least once a month. I've been dreaming it at least once a month and I never understood it. I was never alarmed by this dream because there was nothing alarming to say like, hey, this is going to be tragic, but all I was upset about whenever I saw this dream, I was so sad. Like, I kept saying, well, where's Sam? Where's Sam in all this? Is this something about Sam? Like, where's Sam? And now I know that what happened with Stella was meant long before it ever happened. And that's the thing about destiny. It's just... So Stella's death is going to mean something. I know I keep on talking about this, but... Bear with me because it's all going to be made clear very, very soon. But I just want you to know that there are things that have been in the works. I can see God's plan. I can see where God was going with this. And now we're going to follow God's lead and we're going to continue in Stella's legacy. Anyways, welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about happiness and Christmas. Sophie's going to open her last schleich today. Her I tried to cut the tag off. It went there and I chipped it. Yeah, because it's the green. All right, so Sophie opened her very last <laughs> advent mm -hmm. calendar. Oh, I thought it was a unicorn with that dirt on it. So she got a black horse, right? Let's see. I have he's, he's so cute. He is so cute. It's a boy? Yes. I have this he horse. He is gorgeous. You His already have him? Kingsley. His name is Kingsley? So I'll customize this one because I, I was cutting open the tag with the knife that cut me and you could see the scar still. And then, um, Gabby, your horse just got a scar. And then my horse that's got chipped. Because the knife went. Yeah, that's really horrible. It went. That's horrible. I know what it is. So you're going to customize him to look like what? The real King Stella. Kingsley? Stella. To look like Stella? Yes. So where did you get the name Kingsley? My friend's horse. Our friend has a, had a horse named Kingsley. Had a horse. Had. And he passed away suddenly and unexpectedly this year as well. Today, we are going to go down and spend a lot of quality time with our minis. This morning, we've been working on cleaning our house, getting ready, because one thing you guys don't know, well, if you are an OG member, then you know that we celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve. We have our dinner on Christmas Eve. We have all of our family come over. We open presents with them. We play games. We celebrate with my other children and it's our big celebration for Christmas. And then on Christmas Day, we relax. It's like the one day every year where we just eat what we want. And, and there's we stay leftovers in our pajamas. and we get to eat it all. Yep, lots of leftovers. I mean, we get to open our stockings and presents. Yeah, and we have our regular Christmas. Santa comes on Christmas Eve like everybody else. And um, we open our presents. Just our own little small family. Last He's year, Nick cute. and Jesse were here. But this year, they'll be home because He's we have... Jack. He is a stallion. So let's show everybody what you got for the whole 24 days. So this is all of the calendar stuff that came. So after 24 days, she actually has everything that she needs 
two They're have a little Italian. set. They He's just taller than me. They got this little bluebird. And I don't know where my bucket went. And a little bucket. Oh, and we got a doggy. And a dog. I don't know where my doggy went. Some butt and a tree stump. That's a is it a tree stump or is it a bucket? It's a tree stump. Oh. Are you sure? Yeah. And a kitten and a bunny. Some food. Three ponies. I didn't even see you open all three of them. First. Eighth, I believe. And twenty-four. Oh. That's beautiful. And then Gabby's is here. Clearly. Clearly this is Gabby's. Oh my gosh, that is so sad. Why is the mare laying down on the ground broken? And then and then and then um a huge carrot. Not wow, that's so horrible, oh, Gabby. Oh, oh, Why would you do that? Oh. She's restored. Oh, I love that. The little bird there. That's so cute. Cat stuck under the fence. Gabby's farm. A bird just fell off the fence. Gabby's farm is a disaster. Oh, whoa, whoa. That Look at, so even the bunny is laying upside down. That was no. Oh, they also oh, got, they thing? also got some stickers. Oh, I found some fencing in my bedroom. Yeah, that's mine. Why is it in my bedroom? I forgot it there. Oh. Guys, I, my I also have a super game I know, I I'm getting that. I'm getting this. It. Mine's gonna be the same with pink for Stella. Mine's gonna but be the I same with blue. We're only a couple Both wrists. No way. You no, want one wrist. with you want one with Stella too? Same. Yeah. yeah, we all need one. I was thinking back to last year at Christmas and where we were. We were dreaming and hoping about this farm. And I was recuperating with a broken pelvis. And we lived in a different house. We had a whole different family dynamic. So many things change in a year. I challenge you guys to look back at your last year and see the changes. So that you can look forward. So, so that you can look forward and see. It's safe to say she's bomb proof with children running around her. Oh yeah, by the way, I brought that blanket in there. I put it on that um, ledge over there. And they, they dragged, dragged it down. down. They dragged it down. They dragged it down. And Ruby wants to smell it. Oh, I got Willow in trouble because I was putting on Gracie's halter and Willow came up and she was turning her butt to kick Gracie away. And I was in between them. Getting them in and trouble is and love. I, and I went, Ch -ch, and they both went, oh my God. Do you guys remember last year when we first brought Stella home? Stella was our first horse to ever come to this farm. She was the first horse to come home and to make her feel comfortable. We took her for walks every day because we didn't want her to just be in this small field. And we wanted horses. I know people disagree with me with the natural horsemanship part of horses, but our horses like to go places, like to see new things, they're adventurous, they're curious, and I'm going to do that this winter too. No, 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 no. Alright, let's clean up. We haven't really done a good cleaning of this arena for a long time. I can let her go. It is time to get this barn ready for, for a whole new adventure. So you think you were right? Bring it on, bring it on, prove me wrong Go put up a fight mm -hmm. The way I do, way I do will knock you down You know there's a motion between us Don't, don't cry about it Don't, don't cry about it You want me to take you in my trust ribbons and hang them above her bed. I think you should do that. She said I can have the halter. I earned those ribbons. Those ribbons were for me and Stella. Mostly Stella. Mostly me. No, mostly Stella. I don't know if I should leave them. Get up, get up. I'm wearing you out. Uh, keep on keeping on every night. 
guys these are my nails I put them on this morning okay hold them they, still in front of the camera so they we can are see too long um and they're pointy because I told my mom to get coffin and she thought this was coffin let's see she thought that was coffin and they're already dirty that's because I got glue on them okay the Gracie's like come on take care of me the glue to glue them on but then all the dirt got stuck on <laughs> Gabby are you tuning and in, turning into a girl instead of a horsewoman no but now I can actually do stuff with them I've learned Hey, be fine. <laughs> well, get over there. Be, be fine. Get over there. Be fine, her. Guys, I have something to show you too. It's a willow. We always planned to dress up our girls for Christmas, and we didn't do it before Stella left. So we're gonna do it now. Stella's probably watching us. Stella's probably watching us. Did you okay, brush her, Stella. brush her hay, hair? She looks so cute. It's amazing how love can make you see things differently, huh? Like when we got Stella at Willow, she did not look the same to me. She looks so different, and now. I think it's familiarity that makes you, it change how you see her. She's such a cutie. I know, but I need to clean your eye. Hey Willow, you look better in the hat. So cute. Let's take her outside and I'll take a picture. No. She's like, I better get treats after this. All right, let me take a picture of you her. You need more. All right, we tried to take some pictures of the... Willow worked out very well. Yeah, Willow was excellent. Gracie, on the other hand, does not like her picture taken. Grace, Willow's like, I see carrots. I have all my props, my camera. I've got all the stuff. Come on, let's go inside. I'll give you a carrot. Our horses know. One thing our horses know Willow's is that if they are good, they will get a treat. They all know it, right, Willow? Mm -hmm. Except for Gracie. Gracie is so, Gracie is so fidgety. Willow, that is uncalled. Hey, Willow, no. 
Willow, there will be no treats for you, Missy. What a meanie. I see that she's gotten worse without Stella here. Now you just know. Oh, <laughs> she's mad. Did you see the look in her eye? She's like, how dare you be mean to me? I'm the boss of this place. You're not the boss, sweetie. When Sophie was in kindergarten, her kindergarten teacher told me that kindergarten is chaos and that if you look out across the classroom from wherever you were, you would see chaos, noise and chaos and just craziness. Um, but wherever Sophie was, there was calm. And all surrounding Sophie would be calm. It was like calm in the middle of this crazy sea. Right, Willow? And... He said it was like phenomenal. It was such an amazing thing to see. And that's exactly what it was like with Stella. Wherever Stella was, was calm. And whoever we put with Stella got calm. And I don't think we're gonna get that. And again, anytime soon. But I wanted that for Finn because I know that he loved her so much. And now that's not gonna happen. Look at you got a bite mark. No, that's the hot mm. mark. Willow, stop being so mean. We no, all know. <laughs> we all know you're the boss. Oh, don't eat my fingers. Yeah, she tried to eat my no. shoe. No. She tried to eat my shoe. Finn and Grace are a lot alike. They're both really young. And in, they're a year apart. Grace yeah. Is nine, Finn's eight. Yeah, they're a year apart, but they both have a lot of energy and they both are very similar personalities. I got no carrots for you. Okay, so Sam and I are going shopping. Like we have to go get some groceries and stuff because like I said, our Christmas is tomorrow. And and I last year I did last year I pranked the girls and you guys all freaked out. You were like said it was mean and I shouldn't have done it. So anyways, I decided like I was thinking like how could we prank the girls this year? And, and then I was thinking I suck at acting. Like they Gabby can spot a prank a mile away. You guys know that. So I was thinking like, how about we give them, let them open a, a gift. It'll be like a prank gift, like vegetables or toilet paper or whatever. Everybody does that. But I didn't think I could pull it off because it would be unusual for me to just like, here, open a present. And anyway, so what I decided on was I pretended that I got them a special present. I just like met Sam at the door and said, um, Sam, did you get like that what I asked you to pick up for the girls? And he didn't know what I was talking about, but he played along like good husband, good husband. And then I put it in a gift bag instead of a present because I know that there's no chance that they would ever open a present. So I put it in a gift bag and I put it under the tree and I was like, and I just said, you know, you guys don't go near the tree because there's stuff under there I don't want you to see. And then we left and I set up the GoPro. So hopefully I will get some footage. It's probably not gonna be great because I couldn't put it anywhere because Gabby is like, you don't know how hard it is to prank her. But anyways, we will see if they snoop. All they, cause it's just a gift bag. So all they have to do is just like kind of move the stuff away. I don't think they will. You think they will? You don't think they will? Our kids are, our kids are boring. <laughs> Like they, they got no, they don't, they don't snoop, they don't go through stuff. Like it's such an open life that I don't think, like I remember being young and my sister always snooping through my parents' stuff. Did you snoop? Sam did. I think Sophie might. Just open up all the wrapping. Three the bag. That's terrible. Did you guys ever, have you ever snooped at your parents' presents that they bought for you? I remember my parents saying if we ever snooped that they wouldn't we would never get them. I would never do that though. I was like I was like I was like such a law abiding citizen and I still am. Anyway, so that's what I did. I gotta get the footage when we get home and hopefully we'll see. And if you think somebody is going to snoop, which one do you think it'll be? Sophie or Gabby? Sophie. You think it's Sophie? Yeah. I don't think it'll be either of them. I think we're gonna be surprised. I think it's gonna be n neither of them. I think it's gonna be crazy <laughs> if they find out we we break them and they did look, oh, they're gonna be mad. So we are at the grocery store and literally the whole time, I just wanted to get in and get out, but the whole time I have people messaging me, 
phoning me, calling, like it just on and on and on. And they're all kind of like mini crises other people are going through. So I have to like deal with it while we're trying to shop. Sometimes life gets crazy. Does that ever happen to you? Like just when you go someplace and remove yourself from the world for five minutes, everything just comes crashing down and you have to deal with everything at once. Did you I touch? It off. Did you touch the present? No. We have GoPro footage of me not touching. <laughs> oh, oh God. Where are my shoes? Plus, I don't know. For the most of the time, we were on our computer, so then we hid because somebody was at the door. So what? What exactly? GoPro. So how did you find the GoPro? Oh, I looked over. You were just sitting there and you looked no. over? No, because I was laying like this. Yeah. I see, Gabby, you are no fun. Go grab food, and I saw the red light. Like when I walked up, I looked towards the kitchen. I saw the red light, and I'm like, that's recording because the red light was flashing. So I'm like, hmm, it's recording. So what did you think it was recording for? Present. Did you think it was for the present? You want to open or the present? Or find things. Open the present. Huh? I don't. Oh, is it that thing that we're announcing? No. This. Oh. Yeah. It's a gotcha present. <laughs> yeah, it's a gotcha. There's nothing in it. <laughs> oh, you're picking that up. So, see, so we're you good got children. You By the way, we just left FaceTime with Kaylee. Um, no, my, yeah. my throat is sore because I was screaming during murder mystery. The murderer killed Kaylee. And, and were you eating, Sophia? drinking chocolate? Were you eating yeah. coffee? Oh, you did have tea chocolate. today. Where did you get chocolate? The freezer. Um, also, I was screaming so loud because the murderer was chasing me. Okay. And then Jen, Kaylee's mom, could hear me from a room away. Did you get in trouble? No. All right. I'm like, mom, could you hear Gabby? Yeah. All right, let's go down to the barn. Put our minis away. We've got lots to do. Can you and dad go down? No, I have lots oh. to do. So tomorrow's going to be a very special day. Tomorrow's going to be a very special day. Tomorrow is going to be a very, very special day for our family. It's going to change the direction that our... We're going to have a present for our ponies. It's going to change the direction that our family goes in. We're going to have a present for our ponies and we're going to give it them, to them tomorrow. But anyway, I wanted you guys to... So... Look so at yeah. my nails. They're wrong. Any, anything that happens tomorrow on Christmas Eve will show up in our videos on Sunday unless Mom's you make not, an extra video. These nails were coffin shaped. <laughs> but they're not. Apparently they're diamond, diamond shaped. Anyways, happy Christmas, That's you guys. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Um, wait, this is gonna come out on Christmas Eve. All right, see you guys tomorrow.